Hello, my name is Brent, and welcome to my channel. In this series, we're going to build a Weekender sailboat by Stevenson Project. These pictures are from the Stevenson Project website, which has lots of wonderful information about this boat. Now, I've never built a boat before, so I chose these specific plans for three reasons. First, the plans were relatively inexpensive. Second, they seemed uh, fairly easy compared to the other boat plans I had looked at. And third, this boat is trailerable. The closest lake I have to sail on is two hours away, so I needed something that I could haul back and forth. Now before I start the boat, I need a place to build the boat. I have a shop at my house that you will see later, but it is too small for the project. Fortunately, just over the hill at my parents' place, we have this building that should be just big enough for the work. I'm now in my 40s, and I can remember building this place with my dad when I was around 12 years old. He taught scuba diving lessons in this room back then, but it has set idle for the past couple of decades and become just a place to accumulate junk. So first I got to work moving the junk to a different room. Once everything was moved out, I could take up the carpet and begin taking down the wall to the adjoining junk storage room. I need to take down this wall, so here I'm building a couple of supports that I will place on each side of the wall, and then use a couple of bottle jacks to support the ceiling while I get the beam put in. My nephew joined me to build this supporting beam. We are using two 2x10s two with half inch plywood between them. There really is not a lot of weight on this beam since the trusses run left to right in the building as you can see in the back part of the room. My brother showed up and he helped me lift the beam into place. Now I will start on the sliding barn door that I will need to be able to get the boat out of the room once it is built. I used my supports again as before to support the ceiling as I take down this section of the wall. Same procedure as before using the bottle jacks. I then built another header with 2 by 10s and plywood and my brother helped get it into place. On the outside I had to remove some of this trim and then we'll install the rail that the door will slide on. I then use a sawzall to cut the opening for the door.
To make the barn door, I used 1x3 steel tubing. To make sure the pieces are not twisted, I used the three-point method by resting the metal on three old pull balls. I did this for the two pieces for the opposite corner as well. After making sure everything is square, I tacked the corner in place. We then pulled a measurement on the diagonals to make sure everything was square. Here I am using two strings stretched to opposite corners to make sure the two halves of the frame are in the same plane. When the two strings just touch each other, without space or deflection, the two frame halves are coplanar. Next, I will weld everything together. Here my nephew showed up to help me paint to help provide a little rust protection. I will use some construction adhesive before I apply the outer skin of the door. I pre-drilled and then used sheet metal screws to fasten the outer skin to the metal. After inserting this one inch foam insulation, I applied the outer skin to the opposite side of the door. Next, I'll install the hardware that the door rolls on. This door ended up much heavier than I was expecting, so more help was recruited to help get it onto the rails. But all in all, it turned out good, and I think it'll serve its purpose. Okay, now I'm at the shop at my house. The first part of this boat build calls for laminating three long boards together to form the keel. The keel needs to be straight, so I'm going to build a grid platform from this OSB material that I can then use as a level gluing surface for the keel. I'll swap over to my dado stack now.
I had to turn my table saw diagonal because my shop is not wide enough to accommodate these 8 foot long boards. As you can see I have four boards clamped together to cut these slots all at the same time. Next I'll cut the cross pieces. I attach this small piece to a board on my miter gauge to act as an indexing pin for cutting these slots. Okay, so that's one completed and I made another one just the same. Now back at the boat building site, I built these sawhorses to bring the platforms I just built up to a comfortable working height. I'll attach the two platforms together with their tops level with each other using these two outside strips of OSB.
I'm going to use this laser to get the platform level across its surfaces. Before I leveled it, there was over one inch of drop between the center of the platform and this end. So now that everything is shimmed up, the platform is within a sixteenth of an inch level across its entire surface. Thanks for watching and I hope you will join me next time when I start to work on the keel. Please like and subscribe. And I hope you will enjoy following along with me as we build the Stevenson Weekender.